Greetings to all of our visitors at DevNet Create. We are so happy and delighted to have you join us here for this special session where we talk about the DevNet Partner Specialization. My name is Chuck Stickney. I'm a business development manager and our partner transformation team. And with me today is uh, my esteemed colleague, Chloe Kaufman. Chloe, tell us a little bit about yourself, please. Hey, thanks, Chuck. Hi, everyone. Uh, we're super excited to be here to talk about the specialization. I'm personally very thrilled because this is, I've been at every consecutive DevNet Create, and this is my second time actually being um, a part of Team DevNet to be able to present to everyone here. Awesome. Thank you, Chloe. Yeah, so what we're here to do is really talk about the industry trends that we see related to uh, programmability and the adoption of the, these automation capabilities in the API economy and really how these software development capabilities lead to, our lead to outcomes that our customers care about and that our partners can help us deliver. As we talk about those industry trends, Chloe, can you tell us a little bit about what we're seeing here and what we talk about and what we mean when we say that? Yeah, I would love to. But before we do that, because this is DevNet Create and the spirit of the name of the conference and to lighten things up a bit, I would love for you to share, Chuck, a little bit of what you created during this uh, quarantine that we've all been subjected to. Oh, that, that's a fantastic uh, question, Chloe. And, and this is my first DevNet Create, so th this is all new to me. And with this, with this pandemic thing that we've gone through, I, I fancy myself as a little bit of a home remodeler here. So I've done what I call the, the pandemic remodel. And I've actually been working on my you know, the, the, the main bedroom in our house here and kind of completely refreshing and updating that. So that, that, that's a bit of my creation of the last couple of months. Chloe, what have you been creating? Uh, you know what, Chuck, that's awesome. I've heard you talk about this for a while now. So it's really cool to see the pictures and seeing it coming to fruition. As for me, we have been uh, fighting to not gain the quarantine 15. <laughs> and I've been doing a whole lot of cooking, um, trying different recipes from a across the globe. Um, we have some homemade ravioli, homemade pad thai. Um, we've got uh, shashuka, shashuka <laughs> to make sure I say that right, which is, which is a Persian dish, which I've really enjoyed making. Um, and so that's a little bit of what I've been able to do uh, in my free time during quarantine. Well, with that, though, let's talk about the specialization. So, Chuck, as you had asked me a little bit more about what industry trends that we're seeing, um, as you mentioned, IT is growing in complexity, just like my recipes are growing in complexity. This presents a lot of opportunities, and we're seeing that especially um, as an opportunity for our partners to come in to be able to deliver digital transformation initiatives, especially as we've seen global events really creating this type of forcing fun function um, for our customers to be able to, you know, really transition in these trying times. We really understand that our partners are the ones who are the bridge to our customers. They are the ones that require that enhanced skills and automation, application development, programmability to best support the needs of our customers. And that's really why we designed this DevNet specialization program. We wanted to be able to address the needs that our customers have through automation and custom application development on top of Cisco platforms. The future of programmability and software development are here within our IT infrastructure. And this is the perfect time to ensure our partners are ready to take on that challenge and to get ahead of the curve. So Chuck, I would love for you to share a little bit more details about the DevNet specialization program. So this DevNet specialization program is a mechanism for us to be able to differentiate the partners that we have in our community that have a known skills in being able to deliver business outcomes through software programmability and automation. This becomes important to our customers so that they know that a DevNet specialized partner has the abilities to deliver these services. To our partner organization, to our partners, that allows them to be able to differentiate themselves against the competition. In this program, we really look to focus on three areas. We look at business process. We look to ensure that you have a defined software development life cycle that controls and defines how it is that you actually create the software solutions that you're delivering to your customers and how you do testing and revision control and, and, uh, and be able to deliver those services. We also look to make sure that you have a go-to-market mechanism so that you can act, so that you can deliver these solutions to your customers, that there's a good commercialization model for it so that your customers know what it is that you have and how it is that they can get from you. And we also look to ensure that you have a customer support mechanism in place for the value-added services that you're delivering on top of the Cisco portfolio so that your customers can truly, truly achieve the business value outcomes that, that they want to get from those pieces. 
We also look to ensure that we have technical capabilities for the individuals that are in the program. We'll leverage our DevNet certifications in order to achieve that. And Chloe will talk to you a little bit more about what those certifications are in a moment. We also look to make sure that our DevNet Specialized Partners contribute to our DevNet community. We have more than half a million members in this community to today. The idea of having a DevNet Specialized Partner be able to share services or share content, share code with those partners to help establish and build this ecosystem is very important to us. We have two levels for this program, both specialized and advanced, and based on those, those really define the types of, uh, of, of functions that a, custom, that a partner can do, whether it's a single domain technology for a specialized partner or multi-domain uh, technologies for our advanced level partners. We open this program up to all of our existing partner ecosystem, as well as it opening it up to new types of, of software partners, and we'll explain more about that later in the session. Now, Chloe, can you explain to us a little bit more about the value of the career certifications and how they help our partners transform their career and be able to build capabilities on top of those. Yeah, thanks, Chuck. As you mentioned, really, this program is rooted in the um, DevNet career certifications as a requirement for that demonstration of skills. Um, I know a lot of you in the audience today are developers. That's why you're here. You recognize that opportunity at hand and want to continue to learn and to grow. So I really want to start by with talking about Presidio, one of our first DevNet specialized partners. Presidio is a leading IT solutions provider. Um, they're one of our largest Cisco partners. Um, they focus on simplifying IT complexity, a word that we've heard already throughout this presentation, to be able to digitally transform the, the businesses that the customers that they're working in. They do this by developing, implementing, and managing um, cloud-ready, secure, and agile IT infrastructure. And I'm really excited to be talking to you about Presidio right now because they've been taking steps prior to this to get to this point. They've continued to be a leader in the space because they've recognized the opportunities and really the employees within that company have taken steps to be able to move along this programmability journey to add value back to the company. So there's really two important aspects of this program. There's that business process side there's also that technical competency and ability component. The technical abilities are just as important as the business process implementations. So I really, we're gonna listen over here with Jeff from Presidio to hear a little bit about his developer journey at Presidio. Hey, my name is Jeff Levensingler, and this is my story. I started at Presidio uh, about five years ago. I was one of about a hundred collaboration engineers uh, not only that, but every single one was super talented. A lot of them were CCIE, dual, triple CCIE. I was definitely a small fish in a big sea. When I heard about what DevNet was doing, I thought this would be a great way to differentiate myself instead of going the more traditional route. I attended every event near me and especially enjoyed the hackathons where it was just me and a few other people in a room with an idea to make something excellent. Uh, when I figured out how to do something, I would pay it forward. I would put it in a box, I would write a ton of examples, a lot of documentation, and then I would push it to GitHub and later to Code Exchange. Now these contributions were the reason I was named one of the first five DevNet creators. Uh, this immediately got me recognized in my company and I became a mid-sized fish. After winning a few company-wide coding contests and getting some great customer feedback on my automation efforts, I became one of 20 Presidio Distinguished Engineers. Uh, now I'm an automation engineer. It isn't something I found online and applied for. It's something I made for myself and it's a new role within Presidio. If any of this sounds good to you, uh, check out DevNet and get involved. I couldn't thank DevNet enough to what it's done for me and for my company. Thank you. Jeff, we are so glad that you have been a member contributing to the DevNet community, and we love to see that Presidio is able to drive results for our customers. I want to encourage everyone to check out the DevNet certifications info session um, that Ryan Rosen and Anna Rubin, if, uh, that they presented. If you want to learn more, um, make sure to check that out. And there's also a vast array of learning partners that offer a one-to-many, now virtualized experience in order to get ramped up and do this learning. So now let's talk a little bit more about the specifics in the partner transformation realm. Chuck, I know you have a partner story that you wanna share, so I'd love to hear more about that. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Chloe. So 
the, the, the types of um, employee transformation or individual transformation that, that we heard about from Jeff is, is highly critical to this concept. What we also want to talk about, though, is how those individual contributions can be wrapped into a business process that a partner can use to actually make that part of their business. So I want to talk about our specialized partner, Miradot, and have Rickard tell us about what they do for being able to uh, take those, those skills that they've learned through their DevNet learning and their DevNet certifications and actually develop solutions that their customers use today. So uh, a lot of our customers, they already have a fair idea about uh, the potentials of their platform, what they can do with them, but they're not sure where to start. So we uh, try to like demystify the whole automation concept and uh, together with the customer, like uh, try to inspire guts, um, uh, talk through where would be a feasible uh, point to start and uh, where their pain points are at. So uh, we, um, a typical project for us would be to create like a, a, an ACI web front end uh, to support maybe a migration project, something like that. So after a customer has ex uh, explained their problems to us, we uh, uh, take them for a tour on, on uh, the code exchange to look at like irrelevant examples for inspiration. And uh, together with the customer, we're then going to try them out, like ideas for solutions. And uh, after we see that those work, uh, then we, we will start to turning scripts into services for the customer. So we let our customers uh, uh, get access to the, the DevNet sandboxes that we're uh, using to build the code and try to get them involved in what we're creating. So it's a perfect like shared environment to have, help them feel uh, involved in the project. And uh, we can also try out uh, platforms that aren't already in the customer network. And uh, sometimes we, can, we can't even be allowed access to the customer network. So in that case, it's uh, particularly helpful with the sandboxes. It is really great to hear from a partner's voice, such as Mirada, and how they're adding new services and capabilities both to their organization and then to offer those to their customers. And also something that I, I'm really excited about is how they've been able to create leverage the specialization to create this differentiation and recognition in the market as they're a little bit smaller of a player. So that's a really great story to hear. So as Chuck mentioned in the beginning, this program it, program is open to new kinds of partners, our, these non-traditional uh, reselling partners. So Chuck, can you elaborate a little bit more on that? Yes, absolutely. So we know that we have a very wide uh, number of partners in our existing ecosystem today, and those partners have very deep relationships with, the, with our customers. They truly understand the Cisco products that are out there, but they not, may not be ready to adopt the programmability capabilities that these new customer demand and customer uh, business outcomes require. The idea of this program to be able to take a non-traditional partner so we can do these partner to partner integrations is a very key aspect of this that helps us accelerate these new software stories and be able to deliver those services to the market. And, and an example of that is one of our newest specialized partners, a company called SoftServe. And I'm gonna let John go ahead and describe what their services are and, and what they bring to the market for this. Thanks, Chuck. For those of you that don't know, SoftServe is a world-class advisor and provider of software development skills. We've been in business for over 26 years, servicing some of the world's leading brands. In actual fact, Cisco has been a customer of ours for over 16 years, but we've never been able to take the relationship further. You see, unlike many of you, we don't have infrastructure and networking capabilities. But now with DevNet, we can take the relationship to the next level. And what is it that we look for in a relationship? We look for a strong foundation. And as the world's leading provider of networking infrastructure, Cisco's DevNet program gives us an incredible base to work from. And what is it that exactly that we do? We deliver business outcome through our customers. First, we take our customers on our experience design process, really finding out what it is that their businesses need. Then we'll take a combination of technologies to help solve those problems. Maybe it's IoT, where we've worked with the world's leading retailers and oil and gas companies, amongst others. Potentially it's cloud, where we're premier partners with Google and AWS and gold partners with Microsoft, giving us deep and wide experience. Potentially it's application modernization, where we're helping companies scale to meet changing needs. Or it's uh, using an open source platform, where we've delivered thousands of projects previously. Of course, it will involve data and data analytics, where we have a wide, deep knowledge base and using the Cisco platforms. 
but it's not a single piece of technology that will solve the problems and deliver the outcomes for the customers, but a combination of technologies delivered against an outcome-based model. That all sounds amazing, I hear you say, but how do I get into it? If you're a classic Cisco reseller, don't worry. The market opportunity is huge and you have not missed anything. Every single customer is turning to software to deliver outcomes for them, whether that be factory automation all the way through to customer enablement. If you're unsure of how to start, or simply don't want to get into software development, but you see an opportunity in your customer base, reach out to us. You'll have skills and relationships we don't have, and we're brilliant at delivering business outcomes. And together, we can drive new revenue opportunities for both of us and make very happy customers. There's an ocean of opportunity out there for all of us. Chuck, back to you. So it was great to hear from John about you know, kind of how, how this concept of a non-traditional partner can really help us enable business outcomes for our customers, both direct to customers from these software only type of partners, as well as doing this integration of working together with other partners. And I got to say, Chloe, watching John there, it does kind of make me miss the beach and just kind of sitting around with palm trees and water. So that, that, that was very exciting. Um, and really a good thing to see there. So really look forward to, to seeing how these partner to partner integrations can really help our customers uh, take advantage of the software capabilities that we, we deliver through DevNet, leveraging the API capabilities with Cisco products and services. We really hope you enjoyed learning more about the DevNet specialization and the journey that you as an individual and you as a partner organization could take towards achieving that and that you can see the direct impact of joining the Cisco developer ecosystem and becoming a specialized partner and how that can really help you transform both your individual career as well as your organization and their business practices. We'd encourage you to take the next steps as far as being able to get into this program. First, by starting to participate in the DevNet community. You can go to developer.cisco.com slash start now and start to find learning materials that you can use to develop your career. We have offerings inside of that portal uh, we have our digital learning offerings, and we also have offerings delivered by our learning partners to help you grow. And as we learned from Jeff, really taking this seriously can help you transform and differ differentiate your career. And also, if you get the, one of your DevNet certifications in this calendar year, you can become a member of the prestigious Class of 2020 designation. After you've done that, build on those technical capabilities and deliver those and use those and leverage those inside of your organization to evolve your practices to really focus on programmability and automation so you can deliver those new services to your customers. And then as you're doing that, explore what the DevNet specialization can do for you, how you can leverage that to become part of our channel partner ecosystem and really be able to deliver those services, grow your business and help transform your customers' use cases and businesses. Again, thank you very much. We wish you much luck on your journey towards your DevNet specialization. For more information, you can follow the links on this slide, and we really appreciate your time here, and we hope you enjoy the rest of the DevNet Create event. Thank you so much.